What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're stopping by for the first time, click that subscribe button right down here. So uh, we're back with another video and we're going to be working on the lightning again. Um, the electric fan it had, it went out. The motor um, doesn't work anymore. So we're going to replace it with a new one. So I'll show you guys uh, the new uh, electric fan kit we got. So stay with us. All right. So this is our new uh, electric fan. I got this off Amazon. Uh, it's a 16 inch uh, electric fan, 4,500 CFMs, so it's pretty damn good. I already tried it out. Uh, this thing picks up pretty damn good uh, air. And this is a kit that comes with it. It's high down. There's the vibrations. The things to reduce vibration. Or um, our relay kit comes pre-assembled already. Our brackets, um, just the usual electrical connections. Our sensor, well, not another sensor, but a connector to our sensor. And but I'm not gonna use this. Um, the truck already has has a, the one it has has already everything installed. So here's a stock one. Uh, it's it's on the stock fan shroud. They just it's just mounted on the stock fan shroud. So we're gonna take that off and uh, work on it. And sh I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, we're missing the battery, so I'll show you what's up here. What's going on? What are we planning on doing on this space? And we're gonna eliminate maybe this one too. So I'll show you guys uh, that in a bit, but we're gonna get to the electric fan and start working on this um, project now. We just pulled out the stock uh, fan shroud. There's just two bolts that go up here. So that's it and the rest you gotta remove your coolant line, push it to the side and just pick it up sideways and it's gonna come out clean. So here's this, the old one it had. Uh, you can see it's modified to fit. Uh, this one's a 17, that's a 16. We couldn't find a 17. There were some, but they didn't move as much CFMs as the other ones. But um, I'm going to test fit it. Um, uh, try to make these custom things again to fit the other one. And uh, once we get that one in, I'll come back to show you guys what's the process and what we're doing. If you ever want to do it on yourself on another car, it's mostly the same thing. So uh, stay tuned, guys. So this is what I did. Um, I already had the stock housing, so what I did, I cut out the inside. Bam! I left the stock housing in there, and I'm gonna fit the new one on the same housing that's in there. Once I'm done, I'm gonna try to see if they sell any foam. I'm gonna put foam all around uh, just to get all that direct air um, through the uh, air to the fan. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to mount it. I'm going to try to get some good uh, mounting places and uh, tie it up pretty damn good. And after that, just see if we could find the, the foam for it. So stay tuned, guys. So that's the process so far. Yep, McDonald's. Okay, so uh, I've just uh, drilled some holes up here with these screws. That's for the top side. Because remember, I'm using the stock bracket from the other one. I just cut out the, in the inside, the inner. So now I'm just gonna make, uh, I was working on making some brackets that I just finished. So these are gonna mount here. So if you see, they're gonna mount right there and on the side. So I'm just gonna make the drill some holes on the top ones and on the bottom ones because it's a perfect fit. And I got the other one that I just finished too. I'm going to go on this other side like that. So once I get those on, I'll come back and show you guys the process. Okay, so I already got the bolts in and the nuts tied up on this side. It's a pretty tight fit um, due to these because you have very little space on it. And I'm just going to tighten this one up too on the, on the top one. And it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty solid. And I just hope they sell some foam so we can put some here. If not, we'll just leave it like that. But it's looking good. So that's our final process. Um, we're going to see, like I said, i try to find some foam. If we don't have any foam, I'm just going to put it in and test it out like that. And once we maybe go out of town, go to Lowe's or Home Depot or something, uh, we'll come back and just put the foam on the side. But for now... We might just leave it like that because I did some calls out to O'Reilly's and some auto parts here 
and Ace Hardware, but they're closed. It's 4th of July, so happy 4th of July to everybody. Just look at that, baby. But yeah, once I get this one, this back in and uh, connected, I'll let you know, guys know how, to, how it works. We're going to test fit them, see if they work. Just for now, I just hooked them up like that. Turn it on. A lot of air. A lot of air. Yep. Yeah. Good. Okay, so we're just gonna let her warm up. We're gonna see the tans how it works, and then we're gonna take it up for a spin, uh, just to check out the tans and. Thank God we're at a 105 today, so let's just set out, see how they run. And I still haven't, I'm just checking, see if any all the wires are good. Nothing's getting heat, because sometimes they get hot, so checking everything out. the way they look that color combo looks nice but um, I love it hear that one one more time <laughs> so I've been idling the truck for about uh, 30 minutes now and all the temps are away at their normal operation. So we got the AC on, everything's on, and truck still. Look at the temp. Still perfect. It hasn't moved any any bit, nor up nor down. It's just perfect. One thing I want to point out: sixty-four thousand original miles. Uh, my brother's the second owner. But I'll do a review on this truck later on, explaining everything and how much I pay for this truck whenever we got it. And you guys won't even believe what I what, what I paid for this truck. We bought it with 40, 43,000 original miles or 45,000 I think it was, but I'll just check back on whenever we got it. But yeah, um, everything seems good. Once we, I move my, my truck from the front and all the tools and everything, we're gonna go out and test it out. And I'm gonna show you that other, uh, you know, I told you guys we were working on something um, on the truck. I'll show you that in a bit too. So it's working good, working good, perfect. All right, so uh, I told you guys we were working on something. There you go, custom made ice box uh, uh, by fabricated by my brother. Um, he's a welder, aluminum. These uh, you welded with a tick, right? Yeah. Tick tick welding. Um, we did all the measurings uh, the other day, so it's damn pretty damn good. This is where the battery used to be at. We're gonna move the battery towards the back of the truck. Um, we still need uh, the lid. It's still on its way. We just ordered like two days ago. Um, we're gonna go with a six six inch so we can fit it up with ice faster. Um, once that comes in, it's gonna be a clear one. It, is it a flush mount or? I think it's a flush mount. I was asking my brother. I think it's a flush mount one with a clear uh, cover so you could get to see the water and all that. Um, it came out damn good. It's pretty damn big. It Compared to the stock one that went up here, the little reservoir up here. It um, Usually, if you try to find one on, on the internet, these things go for about... 450 to 500 bucks depends the size um, you want on it and if you got the okay look here's this, the stock one just look that compare stock one to that big old thing look it's it's just gonna be way way much better 
ITs will be will drop down maybe at least 20. I hope so, 20 degrees plus the nitrous, the 50 shot of nitrous up here on this side. But like I was saying, uh, these are pretty expensive. But if you know how to do them, and if you got somebody that welds, you can save money on this. Uh, with the with the fittings, we, we bought the fittings. Uh, we bought the fittings, there's two of them. Uh, with the cap and the material, uh, my brother and I wasted 110 bucks with taxes. 110 bucks compared to 450, 500 bucks that I've seen some from other on the website. So it's it's damn good. You save a lot of money if you know how to do it. Uh, on my truck, we're gonna do we're gonna do it the same, but a little bit bigger. We're gonna because on my truck I don't have my washer fluid. I I took this out, so we're gonna run it a little bit longer on an angle and. Maybe if you see my frame, here's my uh, my front frame, radiator frame. Uh, I might come close to about here, and then down, and then with a little angle, because you can see the fender flare right there. It goes on an angle, so I might come around the same thing going down and up, it's just so we could get more ice in it. Um, but man, I'm, I'm I'm happy the way it came out. Wells are perfect. Everything's perfect. So like I said, I'm, we're just waiting on the lid. Once the lid comes up, we're gonna cut it, boom, put it in there. And well, we're gonna mount the, the battery over here in the back. Let's say, uh, for example, right up here. It's gonna be like a bracket. But we bought, a, we bought the aluminum box and with the bolts that, that hold it down towards the bed. And I, instead, I don't, I don't wanna drill into it. I might just drill some holes up here and bring out the wires, the positive and the negative. You can see they come out through, we can't see, but I'm just going to bring them to the bottom of the frame and then uh, drive them in, drive them in through here and put them up here. So, so we have at least a good uh, clean setup in, in case we're going to throw in my ATVs because I got a Raptor, like I said, 700 or my sport bike, whatever, you know, at least throw some things in here, have a clean setup. The battery at least leave it like uh, an inch from the hitch, from this little, uh, hits to tie down stuff at least an inch and then put it up here on the side uh, but once that comes in because we already ordered everything i'm going to run zero gauge all the way to the back we're going to continue with the video guys but for now that's it i hope you guys enjoy this video it's a short video of um, our new electric fan and our new ice box so if you guys are inquiring, if somebody that has a lightning or whatever, uh, any kind of vehicle, just let us know. If you guys are inquiring of making, uh, having a nice tank, if you want to pay less, just let us know. Uh, comment down. If you like uh, if you like the video, any questions about anything, just let me know. And I'll try to do a, a more refined video on it. So thank you guys and peace.